and I'm back. <clears throat> so, doing Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 10, Episode 2, Say Yes to Distress. Let me just say, I am so happy I was able to fast forward through all this shit. <laughs> Trust me when I say, this shit won, won my damn nerves. Alright, so, we got Cynthia in the tub with a knot in the back of her knees, and she ready to date. Moving on. Portia, her sister's moving in because she's having issues with her baby daddy. Moving on. Sheree is talking to a uh, counselor because she's trying to figure out how she can tell her kids about abuse. I told y'all I ain't doing it. Moving on. Kenya's with Cynthia. Pretty much Cynthia, Cynthia wished she would have protected her marriage the way that Kenya's protecting hers later on. She's with the dogs. Dogs pissed on the wedding dress. This and the third. I don't give a fuck. So if I didn't already say I ain't talking about Kenya, I ain't talking about Sheree. I ain't doing it. Moving the fuck on. Shamia Ken and Sheree uh, at a uh, boutique uh, that sells African garb because uh, pretty much um, I think like the night before the wedding, they're having like a little ceremony where they have to be dressed in African garb. So they're there. Sheree won't be coming to the wedding, but she'll be at the bridal shower. I think it's probably because of them duggets. But again, I ain't counting nobody's coins but my own. Moving forward. Shamia says Portia says she can't come because the tickets are ten thousand dollars, but, and that's first class. But Candy said, but pretty much Candy got hers for five thousand dollars a pop, and she's also bringing seven people along with her. Now the seven people coming along with her ain't really a thing, but seven. I mean <clears throat> five thousand a pop, and it's one of those where, you know what? I'll come back to it. Moving forward, Portia. Being a baby vegan, I ain't talking about that shit. Actually, I ain't finna, I ain't gonna talk about Portia shit either. Until some shit pop up with her and she actually has some motherfucking storyline, I ain't even finna talk about it. Cynthia and Noel, Noel's going to Charlotte to be with a boyfriend, and Noel wants to take a year off to find herself since she just graduated with straight A's. I know a lot of people have a lot to say about that. Like she need to go to college. I'm gonna say this: live your life for you. All right, college ain't for everybody, but the reality is we've gotten out of the mindset of actually having a trade and just going straight to college like i don't have an issue with anybody going to college but i think that everybody should have a trade because if you think about it most people that have a trade are the ones that are actually making that bank a lot of people with degrees ain't doing shit with those damn degrees so you need to have a trade like me granted i'm not on the civilian side right now but i am an air traffic controller which is a trade you don't need a degree for that having a degree will help your chances if you don't already have experience but you don't need that and you can make easy 60000 depending on the job and how much experience you have, you can make six figures. But that's a trade that you don't need a degree for. I might get some hate for that, but that's truly just my opinion. But if she wants to get you out to find herself, let her do that. It's her fucking life. You feel me? So, and it's one of those where if no, if Noel ends up shit creep, it is her decision. But I'm off of somebody living their own life, doing their own thing. That's just my opinion. Now, I don't agree with, you know, going to Carolina to sit here, you know, do what she trying to do. But, hey, that ain't my kid. I don't judge. Apparently, Peter going to look after whatever. There was a portion where Sheree met with Candy to do the whole role play thing about telling the kids I don't give a fuck. Shamia's bridal shower. Portia is wearing her wedding ring while she's there now. I don't know why, but I feel like that was some shade with that. Cause like, why are you wearing the red? Why are you wearing your wedding ring and you have been divorced for quite some time? There's some shit with that, but I don't know what it is. She says that she has low blood pressure, <clears throat> and it's because of that she can't ride coach because she can't be sitting up like that. Now you got the candy coated click, more or less karma over there talking about so she always got a note always got a condition <laughs> and then says she used her legs being up not that <laughs> that wasn't wrong yes it was and candy was over there cackling shit i was cackling is what the fuck it was it's funny i'll give a fuck and the reason why i don't give a fuck because uh portia was literally dogging candy out the last motherfucking season so you know what all fair fucking play now, Shamia says she forgot that, I'm sorry, so she had a dowry ceremony, which is pretty much um, <clears throat> the, I guess, legal binding uh, ceremony, you know, for her husband, but for her in America, she needs them paper sign. And dowries are different depending on culture. Like, I know in the Jewish culture, a dowry is more or less just, you know, 
financial restitution. So pretty much if I get married, I have to have a dowry where if I get divorced, she's getting this off rip. No if, answer, buts, unless there's infidelity. But if we just, you know, divorce for mutual reasons, this is how much she's getting. You feel what I'm saying? And then there's also the ketubah, which is the marriage contract, which technically, and I mean, granted, there is a physical ceremony, but that right there, I ain't even get to the semantics of it. Whatever, we can talk about a different day. Anyway, but Shamia says she forgot that Portia was in the ceremony because they really ain't talked in a while. So all the time has passed. Hey, she just fucking forgot. She's surprised that she's even coming to events and whatnot. Portia feels some kind of way about that. Because it's like she feels like she's being put on front street. They go outside. They're having a little, their little moment. They're arguing. Porsche says, I'm not trying to understand you. Shamir's like, well, fuck it then. We ain't got shit else to talk about. And I know a lot of people are saying that that was Shamir trying to get a peach. Shamir was actually off of the fucking peach this season. She was already off of one. She just didn't do it because her husband don't want her out there like that. So being a friend of the cast is cool. But it is what the fuck it is. And I find it to be funny that Porsche is saying all of what the fuck she's saying. But it only applies to her. But she wasn't taking into account all the shit she was saying when she was on the opposite end doing that to Shamia and to Candy. Zero fuss given. That was the episode. Horrible as fuck. That's my review. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Time to do the other one. Peace.